Hey, what's been happening? Haven't seen you guys in what? Oh, I don't know. Uh, sorry about the poor quality of video. It's uh, the bleeding webcam. It's a piece of crap, really. So don't worry. Um, sorry about the webcam. It's just so blurry, and I'm sorry about it. It's just poor quality piece of crap, really. So don't worry. Um, uh, bugger if I know what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. Um, just got a haircut I have today, and uh, really didn't want to get one, but did it anyway. That's, yeah, for a reason. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let me see, alright. Um, let's hope this sound doesn't bugger up on me anymore. Let's hope that God the sound doesn't bugger up. Um, sorry about the poor quality of video, it's just um, the sound usually goes and the picture quality is usually it's pretty crappy really. <coughs> Well, you get what you pay for for a cheap bloomin' thing. Really? It is a cheap piece of crap, really. So don't worry about it. Uh, all I can say is rock on and God bless. Peace, man. Oh, peace, man. Ecclesiastes 3. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck what, pluck what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down. A time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones. A time to gather stones. A time to embrace. A time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to f a time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love. A time to hate and a time of war. A time of peace. What profit has the worker from that in which he labours? I have seen that God given tasks with which the sons of men to be occupied. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also he has put eternity into, hearts, into their hearts except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to end. I know that everything is better for me, for them, than to rejoice and to do good in their lives. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labour. It is the gift of God. I know that whatever God does, it shall be forever. Nothing can be added to it. Nothing can be taken from it. God does it that men should fear Him, should fear before Him, that which is already have been. And God requires an account of what has passed. Moreover, I saw under the sun, in the place of judgment, wickedness was there, in the place of righteousness, iniquity was there. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. And there is a time there for every purpose and, and for every work. I said in my heart concerning the condition of the sons of men, God tests them that they may see that they themselves are like animals. For what happens to the sons of men also happens to animals. One thing befalls them. As one dies, so does the other. Sure, they all have one breath, all go to one place, all are from the dust, and all return to the dust. Who knows the spirit of, of the sons of men, which goes upward, and the spirit of the animal, which goes down to the earth. So I perceive that nothing is better than that man shall rejoice in his work and works, and that, and for that, it's his heritage. For who can bring him to see what will happen after him? Uh, let's say God bless, rock on, keep cool, peace man, peace, double peace man, double peace, double peace man, God bless, rock on, keep cool, and 
May the Lord God be with you always. I uh, love you all in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. I'm Brandon. Keep cool. Love one another the way that God loved us. And peace, man. I love you all in Jesus' name. God bless and rock on. Okay? I'm oh, sorry about the poor quality of the video. It's just get what you pay for in this sort of thing. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. I'd like to read another psalm for you. And no, it's not Psalm 150. I did that last time. Um, you all know Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You hear this psalm a lot, especially at funerals and all that. You do hear this a lot. And um, I remember we were going to Blacktown one point. I used to live in the latter Blacktown, or near Blacktown anyway. Um, I used to live in Lowell Park, really, at one point. That was between 1988 and 2004, where I am now is the Mark's point. Um, and I would have seen this particular verse, written in, both in quite a number of years ago, written in both English and in Chinese. And this is the verse, and well, actually this is the Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me, me. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness, righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the, through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for You are with me. Your rod and Your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen to that. Amen. That's a famous psalm, that. Okay. That's one of the more famous psalms which everybody would have heard of, which even if you're not really a Christian or, or even Jewish or anything, you probably would have you know, heard the psalm a lot if you've ever been to funerals. And you probably would definitely would have heard the psalm being quoted all the time. And this is one of the more famous psalms, apart from Psalm 98 and Psalm 50, 150. Well, there's other psalms which are, which are just as good as Psalm 23, which are just as good, by my opinion, like Psalm 90, which is a prayer of Moses, which uh, presumably that, um, that prayer was would have been spoken by, uh, probably by Moses himself, but. Um, um, I, I don't want to know, so it wasn't really there back then. And, but yeah, Psalm 23. Like I said in the last verse, Surely goodness and mercy shall, shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I just hope all goodness and mercy shall follow all of us, all the days of our lives. And may we all dwell in the house of the Lord Jesus Christ forever. And, um, yeah. And, yeah, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is our shepherd. And, more than, and, yeah, he's all that we need and all that we want, really. The Lord Jesus Christ is our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Whatever thing, things are going on, just trust in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. So, even that, even if you go through the hard times, but they're just testing. You see, God is testing us to see, to strengthen us in Him. If we trust in Him and say, "Hey, man, I trust you. Hey, God, I trust you," sort of thing. He makes me like, he makes me to lie down in clean pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Well, yeah, He would, which is groovy, man, groovy. See you, man. I'd like to say, God bless and keep you all right, mate. So thank you. Goodbye. God bless and keep going. Just a quick hello. I want to say, keep cool, rock on, peace, man. All right. God bless, rock on, keep cool. All right, man. See you later, man. I'm Brendan. So peace, man. God bless.
Hello. How are we? Have have we all can keep cool. God bless, rock on, all that stuff. May the Lord God bless you all completely and wholeheartedly. So yeah man. Bless you all. Rock on and stay true to yourselves. May, uh, may the Lord God keep you and guide you in His care. Guide you and keep you in His care. May He bless you entirely. May He speak the truth to you wholeheartedly. In this, uh, in this house, in Jesus' name, Amen.